welcome back to Bubble Pop Kids. Hope you're in the mood for some sweet treats. We are doing a candy bonanza. Ah, oh, it's been a while. I don't think I've done a candy bonanza in a couple weeks. I found so many good ones. Some are kind of strange and weird. Some look super yummy. Let's get started. Taking off the bonanza, this is probably like the 20th one I've done. Ugh, I cannot get enough candy. We have the world's biggest candy necklace. Would you guys look at this? I picked it up at the Hershey Park when I was there a while back. It is huge. It's got all these different colors. Let's pop it out of the package. And that's a big one. It definitely is probably two or three times the size of a regular candy necklace. And it kind of looks different. The ones I've had have these light pastel colors. These look more like sweet tarts. They're all these bright ones. Delicious! They do taste just like little sweet tarts. These are so cool. Like if you're having a birthday party, you can give them out to all your friends. Wear them to the circus. I don't know. <laughs> you can wrap them around your arm like a little bracelet. Love it. So there it is, world's biggest candy necklace. Ooh, but I think you're gonna like this more. It is a Jolly Rancher jelly bean dispenser. Kind of looks like a bubble gum machine with a twist because it's got little Jolly Rancher jellies in there. Let's test it out. I'm not too sure how the camera is picking this up, but it is huge. It's a really big size. There's gotta be hundreds of jelly beans in there. And if you've never had these before, usually they come out around Easter. Oh, they are so good. They're kind of tarty, a little bit sour. Tastes just like the hard candies. So here's the top, and I love how it's got that Jolly Rancher sticker on there. <laughs> so it's not like your traditional gumball machine. When you look down, you also get this little dial. Look how cute, it's all these fruits. And they're probably all the flavors that are in here. We get grape, watermelon, what is that? Green apple, blue ras, and orange. Oop, and cherry, and there's a big cherry sticker up there. I didn't even see this, it's got, oop, and I didn't even see this, it's got all these little star decorations on there. I love this thing, let's get some candy out of it. Here it goes. I'm just gonna twist this dial. It's so good that you don't have to put a coin in. You can just twist it. Ah! And there comes your candy. Woo! Amazing! Because once you give this a little turn, all of these jellies come flying out of there. So cool. So the first one I'm gonna try is the green. I'm pretty sure it's the green apple. So, so good. These are just like the gummy version of the harder candies that you suck on. Pink, I'm pretty sure it's watermelon. Mmm, oh, that's my favorite. I could eat these all day long. They are just too amazing. Red is your classic cherry. And grape. Mmm. Oh, grape is really good too. Ooh, it's so sour. It kind of tastes like pucker powder. So all in all, we get one, two, three, four, five, six different flavors. They are so good. And this machine is just like the best. You could put it on your desk at home when you're doing your homework. You can pop a little sweet treat, keep it in your kitchen. Ew, look what we have you guys, a box of boogers. This came out just in time for Halloween. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna taste like boogies or snot but they really look like them. They're tangy gummy boogies that look and feel real. Eee, look at this guy. He's so gross. What is he, the chef? He made those. And here's your booger flavors. We get straw boogie, sour green boogie, and ugh, snotterine. <laughs> this is just like the most clever little package. Let's eat some boogies. Oh man, I can't look at these things. They are so unappetizing looking. Ooh, I thought they were gonna be like bright colors, but they look like real little boogers. They are just so, so gross. Ooh, I don't even wanna smell them. Oh, but they smell really good. <laughs> they smell like fruit. Ew, look at these. So I got a handful of these little grossy things. They come in three different colors. Some are this really nasty looking orange, and they are really in the shape of little bugs. They look like zombie boogers. 
We get this one here, really gross, looks like earwax. And we get this green one, which probably looks the most normal. <laughs> These yellowy ones are just too much. You and I can't believe I'm doing this, I'm gonna taste them. So the flavors, what were they again? Straw Boogie, Sour Green Boogie, and Snotterine. I don't see any pink ones, so I don't know which is strawberry. Let's try this one first. Oh, <laughs> they smell a lot better than they taste. Eee, it doesn't even taste good. It didn't taste like strawberry. It was so hard, I could barely chew it. Try the yellow. Yellow, I would say, is like a lemon. It kind of tastes like lemon, but these are just so, so chewy. They're not tasty at all. Now I'm gonna go with like the grossest color. Looks like a chunk of earwax. Wow, believe it or not, that was probably the best one. I think that one is strawberry, ugh. <laughs> so we tried our box of boogies. I think they're super fun for Halloween, maybe giving these out for trick-or-treating or for parties, but these are not something I would ever want again, ugh. Here's another close-up of those three little snotties. Weirdest colors ever, especially for candies. Speaking of gross candy, why don't we try this while we're at it? Oh, this is so disgusting. It's called Gummy Bug Tape. Candy Bug Filled Gummy Tape. Ew, look at that. It kind of looks like the tape, the Hubba Bubble Tape, but it's got these black and brown bugs on there. I don't know. I, I just have no clue what to expect with this. There's this little wacky boy on the cover. He looks kind of scary. These look, ew, there's little centipedes and spiders on the package. We gotta try it. I'm a little scared, but I am so, so curious. Scary, and the back of the package says, unroll a delicious candy bug filled gummy snack if you dare. Ooh, and it's strawberry and lemonade flavors. Here it is, a little container. <laughs> it looks kind of cool. Let's pop the top. Ugh, I see some kind of bug in there. What is going on? This is probably, ew, look at that. Looks like a fruit by the foot. Oh, this is so, so gross. Here you go, wow, it looks just like it did on the package. It looks like a yellow fruit by the foot with all of these little buggers on there. We get flies, that looks like a termite or something, little centipede, oh. <laughs> I do not know who could look at this and want to eat it. It's so cool though. It's really, really funky looking. It's a really, really thick piece of this yellow gummy. Smells really good. It smells like lemonade. So slimy too. And another thing I can't get over, look at those bugs. They are so, so shiny. It looks like they're stuck in a glue trap. Well, the moment has come. I looked at this up and down, and I think I'm gonna take a little taste of it. Ooh, look at that. It's so, so rubbery. It's got two little black flies. Yikes. Ooh, I like it. It's pretty, pretty good. It tastes like a banana fruit by the foot, and these little bugs, they just taste like regular gummy snacks or gummy bears. Really is great, I just love it. Even though it's super gross, I think it's like one of the best candy inventions ever. And there it is, my first ever gummy bug tape. For a gross meter, I think it was like 100. The candy didn't taste that good. It was pretty good, I'd give it like a five out of 10. But just the idea of it was super amazing really good one. Moving along from the gross candy to something kind of strange. <laughs> I found this bag. I am not even sure what it is. It kind of looks like a comic book or anime character. And I think this is some kind of Japanese candy. I was in the candy store and they have like an international aisle. I picked this one. This guy just looks super awesome. He's got this huge sword. <laughs> Looks like some kind of a warrior, I don't know. And I have to say, I just do not know what's in here. They look like little gumballs floating around. So what do you guys see? We open it up and find out together. I am so super curious. Here it goes. Whoa, what is this? 
looks like some sort of a sword. Like a ninja sword or something like that. Ooh, there's something in here. Sounds like the gumballs. This is kind of strange. What is going on? Hmm. Ooh, little candies. Unfortunately, I cannot read one thing on the package, but I do see these little candies. I'm not even sure if they're gumballs, M&Ms. Let me test one. Ooh, I almost broke my tooth. You guys, these are jaw breakers. They are rock solid. You could not bite through these if you wanted. They're kind of like the everlasting gobstoppers. Pink one. Yep, that's exactly what they are. They don't have much taste. They're kind of feel like marbles. Super hard. I don't like them that much, but I do like this little sword they go in. Kind of different. Really cool. Would have been better if they were like little gumballs because these things are just so hard and scary. I think you'd really break your tooth. cutie pie and all it is a pink fluffy teddy bear but it's not a normal bear because look at its hat this is so cute it says jolly rancher and what do you know it is holding a little box of jolly rancher gummies this actually came attached to the bear completely attached i, I love 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 jolly rancher i'm a jolly rancher bear Ooh, i want to have like this it's too adorable it's all these little flowers her ears are poking through Jolly Rancher logo, and I love my Jolly Ranchers. We had that gumball machine earlier. And now we gotta test out the gummy candies. There they are, and believe it or not, I've never tried the gummy version. I've had hard Jolly Ranchers, Jolly Rancher lollipops, those ones we had before, the little jelly beans, but never the fruit snacks. They're so colorful. Oh, they smell so good. our rancher gummies and it looks like we get cherry oh how cool is that they're actually in the shape of the fruit they taste like we get a lemon I don't usually like that one a grape green apple Ooh, what's that supposed to be <laughs> it's kind of weird oh it's supposed to be like a little candy chew and orange where is the watermelon Oop, found it time to taste it and my favorite jolly rancher in the world is watermelon then I love the green apple and then the cherry Oh, love them. I think out of all the candies I've tasted today, these are the winner by far. They are so good and sweet. You definitely cannot mistake these with fruit snacks. As soon as you taste them, they are the sweetest, tartiest, sourest candies ever. And I love them even more because they came with this furry little bear. A favorite color, pink. Moving on from the traditional candy to some exotic candy. <laughs> Here is another one. I picked up in the international aisle, and to tell you the truth, I have no clue what this is. I couldn't figure it out. Kind of looks like mango, and I love mango flavored. Anything mango, I am in love with. Kind of looks like maybe little cookie bites or chocolate squares, but I still have no clue. So we're going to test them out. They kind of look delish. They look really yummy. Ooh, and here they are. Oh, they look like little chocolates. There's a little toucan on the package. I guess they are tropical flavored. We get, ooh, we get nine of them. I was gonna say 12, nine different little bites. These are really cute. They look like little fudge bites. Uh, <laughs> I am not too sure about these, you guys. It does, it is chocolate for sure. It's like chocolate or cocoa powder flavored, but I do not like that mango filling. I thought it would be a little bit like Juicy, maybe kind of creamy, but it's it's kind of hard and chalky. I gave it another taste. It's not the worst candy in the world. There's definitely a better tasting chocolate. I think it's okay. It's it's kind of weird, not your traditional candy, but ah, let's just see it. Try it again. I have to say it smells amazing. Oh, it smells like a rich, rich chocolate. You do smell the tropical like mango or pineapple. But once you taste it, it kind of disappoints. It's not the strongest taste of chocolate or mango. So I guess they're okay. They're kind of new and 
fun to taste. So that was that. I don't love them, I don't not love them, but I don't think I'd ever buy these again. They're just not my favorite. But I do love tasting new and international candies from other countries, so glad I tried. Look what we have, a little wacky monkey. <laughs> that is actually what it's called, wacky monkey candy. I love this little guy. I thought I had to have it. Actually, I've seen these a lot and I never got one. He's got his little cymbals or tambourines going. They sound like they have bells inside. This little toy wasn't enough. There's actually candy inside of here. These look like these colorful little sweet tarts. Let's pop them out of there and give them a test. Actually, I feel kind of bad trying the candy here because it looks so, so cute in this little sticks. It brings a pop of color to it. But I'm just gonna take a couple and taste them. Ooh, it twists right off. Get all different colors. They have this really shiny coating on there. You like my monkey candy, Bubba Pop? Oh, this little monkey is crazy. Yes, I love this candy. It is so good. Actually, I thought it was just going to be this non tasting or not really good, just kind of sugary, but it was so sweet, even better than sweet tarts. So, I love the little monkey toy and I love the candy in there. Next one up, ooh, we haven't had any bubble gum yet. And this is something I have definitely never seen before. It is toxic waste goof gum, ooh, oozing with sour slime. I have had toxic waste super sour candies and I could not even eat them. My eyes were watering, my tongue was burning, they were so super sour, but I've never tried the gum. And this looks so super disgusting. It's got this green goo popping out of there. We get four pieces. Gotta try. Woo. These little things have the funniest shape ever. They're like toxic waste barrels. Ooh, they're kind of melting. They get this yellow goopy stuff. And to tell you the truth, they kind of feel like a gumball, like the outer shell of a candy gumball. Let's open one up. The easiest way to do that is just to take a bite. Oh, they're so, so super hard. Oh, I took a little bite to loosen it up. You guys, these are so super hard. You have to go easy. They'll break your tooth off. Ew, look at that. <laughs> there is the green toxic waste. Mm, ah, ooh, it's sour. Oh, it is so sour. Even more than a crybaby or a warhead, this green stuff is just amazing. Ugh. Little too sour for my taste, and actually the gum is so hard, I don't even know how you would chew it. I sliced it open a little so you could see the inside. Ooh, <laughs> it looks like green goblin slime in there. And the gumball itself doesn't taste good, it's just like a plain gum. That green stuff is so super yucky. I do not like these, ugh, never getting them again. Speaking of some seriously toxic sour candy, I found some of these. They are called Aftershocks. What drew me to this one more than anything was just the package. I didn't know what it was. I had no clue. I see this guy on there. His eyes are going all over the place. All these little fireworks in his mouth. And we get green apple and strawberry. Oop, and there's 20 pouches. I actually thought this was just one huge pouch. I was a little nervous because it is huge. It's like bigger than my hand. But there's 20 individually wrapped ones and it is popping candy. Kind of like Pop Rocks. How do you open? Let's see what's going on here. Woo. They weren't kidding. There are 20 packs. We get some green ones and some pink ones. They're kind of cool looking actually. I love the colors. And I really love Pop Rocks, so I think I'm gonna like them. Woo. Let's cut it open what they look like. Ooh, they're a little bit more powdery than the Pop Rocks. It smells good. Mmm. 
they do taste really good. They're not sour at all. I'm not even sure why they're called aftershocks. They're super sweet. They're not sour or like tangy, but they don't really pop. They are nothing like Pop Rocks. Those things start exploding on your tongue, but these ones really don't. They're just really, really subtle. Let's go for the strawberry one. Ooh, those were so yummy. Oh, they taste like strawberries and cream or cotton candy. They don't pop either. They don't crack around in your mouth. I don't know, I, I like the flavor, but they're just not the best. If you guys are ever in the mood for some popping candy and you see these or you see Pop Rocks, I would go with the Pop Rocks. Just earlier in the Bonanza, we tried the Jolly Rancher Jelly Beans. We have some more, except this time they are Jelly Belly camo beans. I've tried the camo beans before with the regular like green, orange, and brown, but we get the pink ones today. Oh, and look at this little pink jelly belly all patriotic with the flag. Looks like a little Girl Scout or Cub Scout. Ooh, and here are the flavors. Yeah! And by looking at these, I know I'm gonna love them. They're like all my favorite flavors. First of all, my favorite jelly bean flavor in the world is the black licorice. I love it. We get one of those. Bubble gum, mm, cotton candy, ah, coconut, another fave, cherry passion fruit smoothie. I've never tried it. And another fave, strawberry cheesecake. So they're all like pinky colors. Let's test them. As soon as I open up the bag, the smell hit me. I think the strongest one is that strawberry cheesecake. I smell a cheesecake right now. I have to go with my black licorice. Oh, that is awesome. Every year when it's Easter time, I stock up on my black jelly beans. They usually sell a bag just with the black ones. I get like 20 of them and save them through the year. They just have the best taste. Mm. So we're gonna try the strawberry cheesecake. It's like a light pink. It's got all these little red speckles on there. That one is super good. I have never tried the flavor. So, so good. We're gonna go with the coconut, another fave of mine. It tastes like coconut milk. It was so super creamy, really creamy. I don't know how they made that. I think the light pink is probably, let me see. Well, there's two light pink. I think the lightest pink is the bubble gum. Bubble gum is so good. See, it's like you're swallowing gum, <laughs> even though you're not, and the cotton candy. Mmm, so, so sweet. I'm not the biggest fan of jelly beans, but literally I can just eat this whole entire thing here. They're all my favorite flavors. If you ever see these in the store, I really suggest them. They are so, so good. And the cutest little pinky colors. Oh wow, I am so super hyper like I always get from all this sugar. And we are on to our final candy of the Bonanza. This is so cute. It's like in the little shape of a purse and it is Hello Kitty bubble gum. I've had and tried lots of different Hello Kitty candies before but I've never seen one like this. It is so cute, this little purse with handles. It's got such a cute picture of a little bubble gum machine, kind of like my logo. <laughs> And we are ready to see what they look like. Ooh, they're pink. On the package, they look like all different pastel colors, but they're all pink, which is fine with me. And I wonder what they're gonna taste like. Original bubblegum, maybe cotton candy. And they are original. They're just like the original bubble yum or bubblicious flavor. I really like that. I think that is just my favorite. <laughs> Sometimes I don't like the fruity ones, just the regular. Cutest little packaging ever. So cute to bring with you in your little pencil case. Although most of you cannot chew gum at school, you'll put it in your purse. And there it is, everybody. The end of Candy Bonanza. I cannot even tell you the number. I lost count. Maybe number 18 or 19. Not too sure, but I loved all of these candies. Some of them were super gross, like the boogers. This bug tape. I've never seen anything like that. Some were amazing, like the Jolly Ranchers. I didn't like these ones so much. And this little thing with the sword with those jawbreakers, that was kind of weird. 
would love it if you guys left me a comment and let me know what your favorite candy was. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to our channel. Just click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and you can subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.